Welcome everyone, my name is Paula Phillips, also known as Journal Artista, and it's Saturday night over at Ustream.tv. If you're watching this on YouTube, I do a show at 9 p.m., 9.30 p.m. Eastern Time on Wednesdays and Saturday nights. The link will be below. Uh, we always have a pre-chat at, pre at 9 p.m. Somebody's messaging me. We always have a pre-chat at 9 p.m. And, uh, excuse me for a second. And I start uh, start the show at 9.30. So during the pre-chat, I had this background going on in this art journal already. I had these um, these cheap plastic stencils that I got at the dollar store probably five years ago. And, um, and uh, yeah, if, if there's a PM, and this is kind of just for everybody. If you want to PM somebody, um, you have to send a message. If you're PMing somebody on Ustream TV in a chat, right, in a Ustream chat, you have to click on, if, if they have a chat that says negative one behind their name, like you'll see me, General Artista minus one, that means that they're in a pop-out chat. So if you send a PM, a private message to the, to the General Artista without the negative one, I won't see it. And that goes for anybody that that has is you know using a pop out chat. You if somebody's using a pop out chat, send them a PM on that negative one name. All right. So as I was saying before, this was just you know had some fun wiping back some black paint through a stencil, just for a little art warm up. <clears throat> and so I'm pretty excited tonight. Well, first I'll show I did get two coloring books. Uh, of course. Well, I got three. Um, but I have one. This one's called Coloring Birds. And I got these in the clearance section. And this one's the Kew Gardens Flowering Plants Coloring Book. Over 40 beautiful illustrations plus color guides. And it's from the Royal, Bot Roy Ugh. Royal Botanic Gardens. Kew. I guess that's in the UK somewhere. <clears throat> Um, so what's fun about these books, like I said, this one was $7.99, plus I get 10% off that. Hi, Ange. Um, hey, Jillian. But what was nice about this, look, it has the, the colored example, right? And then it has the black and white on the other side, which for me really helps me. Because then I don't have to go and look on, try to look it up. I think it also has, I don't know, some Latin down there or something. I don't know much Latin, so or any, so I really liked it. And there's quite a few. You know, I'm sure you could just for the shading benefits me, not just uh, nice the colors. It's in London. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I apologize, guys. For some reason, it wouldn't let me press record, so I just had to reboot my UStream there for a minute. So if if uh, I think some of the ladies in the chat are saying to refresh. So it's, you know, it's a fun one. It'll help me learn and, uh, you know, where the, sh where the shadow, where the shading, although it, it does show the shading over here, right? Some, some coloring books are just plain black and white that don't have any of this shading at all. And then you kind of have to, you kind of have to figure it out yourself. So that's fine. And this is one is the same way. These are made by a company called Arc, Arc. Arcturus. Arcturus. And this one, this bird one, was is the same thing. These are one-sided though, which is nice. You can cut them out, you know, and uh, Latin. Yeah, not much to know about that. Um, you can cut them out, put them in your art journal. But this one has a tiny picture down here that says, uh, that shows what the colors are of that particular bird. And there's, so there's 40 different birds, and these, let's say it was published in 2015. I don't know why it was so cheap. And uh, it, it shows all the word, all the names of the birds too, right? Common button quail on page 20. Then you can go to page 20. Oh, there's some flamingos for Eileen. Hey, look, this one's not pink. I didn't know some some flamingos weren't pink. You have this one already, Eileen? Should have guessed. Should have guessed, my friend. <laughs> but I really like it because it shows you what the colors are. So it's very educational for me. 
Hi, Leanne. So I'll have one of these to give away at the end of the night or sometime tonight. So uh, that will be fun. Stick around for that. To be able to win, you're going to have to be signed into the chat, though. Uh, if you don't have a Ustream account already, it's a, you know it's pretty easy to sign up. You just have to think of a username, put in your email address, and uh, create a password, and you're good to go. All right. <clears throat> so this is the other coloring book I got this week. It's my mom's fault. I like to blame people for what I buy, as you can tell. <laughs> um Flamingos are pink because of what they eat, like sea, like crabs and stuff. Shows how much I know. <laughs> There's no, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen a flamingo in real life. That's for sure. Shrimp. I was close. All right, so this one is called Calming Therapy and Anti-Stress Coloring Book. There's also one called Creative Therapy Anti-Stress, and the next one is Color Therapy. Um, for your convenience, in my A store on Amazon, I have a whole section, a whole section just for coloring books, and these three are at the very end of that um, section. If you need my link, you can get, just go to journalartista.com. If you don't have an ad blocker on, you won't see the ad if you have an ad blocker, and uh, on the top left, you'll see my Amazon A store. So... <clears throat> So anyways, what's fun about this one, this is a hard cover. It's got a paper spine here. You can see where the hard chip, like, I mean, this is some serious chipboard here. Uh, and I didn't, I wanted to show you guys the cover first. Like, it's really thick and it's very durable. I'm going to put some, some uh, duct tape down the set, the, down the end there. Spine. So this one's like very zen doodle tangle, I call it doodling, I don't know what the copyright is, so we'll just call it doodling. Um, yeah, so the book flip, I will do a book flip because I've decided, you know, and the pages are super thick, you'll see in a minute. Um, so in certain sections of the book, like this is the coloring section, so the doodling is already there on each page. You can see all this dark is... Um, comes colored but this is a very really thick pages cover of the Kew Gardens coloring book it looks like this flowering plants coloring book and they had a ton of these at the store a ton uh, and I got 10% off $7.99 so that was that was pretty good so you know some are real tiny, and this is a big book. This is, uh, I had my ruler the other day. Oh, sweet goodness. I've been doing too much art, not enough cleaning. Anyways, I think it's 12 inches. Does that look like 12 inches? <laughs> Do you see 12 inches? I don't know where my ruler is, as usual. Anyway, <clears throat> it's big. <laughs> it's big. Um, and like I said, there's three different ones. I have another one ordered because once I, uh, once I really started working and I thought there's something special here. So as you can see, I decided to turn this particular coloring book into an art journal. And so there'll be some coloring and some arting. It looks like 11 by 17. Uh, no, this is just over 12 inches, or, you know, this is about as long as a ruler. I just had the ruler the other day. We won't go into that conversation again. All right, so if you remember on Wednesday, um, we did some jelly, jelly paint, jelly papers on a jelly plate. Uh, so let's be realistic, right? I'm not going to, I have, Amazon says 8.2 by 11.8. Thanks, Cynthia. Um, <clears throat> this is a patty stencil, yeah, because we did these deli papers on Wednesday night, so check out that video. But because it's deli, I just glued it right in. I think that on this page was another scene, and I colored all this green, blue, and pink. There's no shading. I did put a piece of the, a different del deli print that we did on Wednesday night down here. Kind of look like, I don't know, 
the street or grass or something I'll work it in no shading going on here still lots of white but what I'm trying to do is uh, so I glued in a piece of deli paper um, just with some carpet tape you know which means some of the ends rip up but it's very thin right I mean this I believe that this book will hold you know if you did it on cardstock hey Trina but uh, oh I just loved how this looks so I'm letting you know the mixed media deli whatever you got going on jelly print <clears throat> jelly print on this that's what's influencing my color scheme on the other page hey Carol um, so I'm still working on that one and and I'll turn this side into a regular art journal page as you'll see a little bit later uh, some random fish and I excuse me I got the hiccups I glued in this piece of it was a leftover deli paper a deli print from the jelly plate from uh, Wednesday and you know I'm going to use this to <clears throat> to color the fish probably pink and green you know I'm just going to use it to inspire and then turn it into something thanks thanks Janet yeah if you go to my Amazon store which is Amazon a store dot com a store dot Amazon dot com slash journal 038-20 oh, it's on my blog though as well there's a whole section on coloring books that I recommend and the three of these ones are at the end because you know not all coloring books are made equal so I'm not saying you could you're gonna be able to do all this mixed media stuff and maybe all the coloring books out there but because this one has such a hard cover a pretty good spine I mean no different than any other ones we work on right I'm just going to I'm going to put some duct tape across that and we'll be able to you know decorate the cover later too. So I'll keep flipping through this guy. It's a rhinoceros in like a town. Here's another one I did again. Patty Tolly Parish stencils, you know that we did on Wednesday of the jelly plate. This is deli paper just stuck it right down. And then I colored these um I was going to call them squid think they're jellyfish jellyfish deli jelly deli anyway uh <laughs> I cracked myself up so again there's no blending on this it was just pure marker and and I'm actually kind of happy because I've had stampin up markers these stampin right markers for years and I, I mean they're still the black ones right there I bought them when I was a demo when I was still married <laughs> so that was a long time ago um <clears throat> This was the new stencil, yeah, Patty's free new stencil, the circle one. So I think I might do some, you know, you can put gel pens over this to make this a little sparkly. I think I even have the clear one. I'm, I know I do somewhere in this thing. Although I, I still have to go back and do some different organizing because all this stuff that I'm, all this work I'm doing on the couch coloring. Anyway, so again, I'm letting my my page inspire hi Joyce good to see you <clears throat> I I'm having my my art drawn page is going to inspire what colors I use and vice versa so obviously I'm going to have to do some darker pinks when I move over to the art journal page side I'm going to do some darker pinks so this page was originally well this tiny bit was colored by the art the author and then I did the back and and it was green but I blacked out the background um, I have found two mistakes actually like you know when you color in some of these tentacles uh, it should have been black like it should have been this color which is part of the reason why I had to go and do it all black because it, it didn't look right I started coloring it I'm like wait a second the background color should be there anyway I found a couple mistakes already like that so I use Sharpie to color this whole background. Now Sharpie's the only thing I've I've found so far, hi Sage, that um that has gone through the pages. So can you see how it's kind of gone through there? It doesn't matter, right? Because look at this beautiful owl. If I'm gonna color, my my whole intention is right. If I have if I have some mixed media on this page, I'm gonna have mixed media on this page. So I'm gonna have two pages mixed media to color because you know you don't really want to color on a page right you always want to color on a page that doesn't have any lumpy bumpies underneath <clears throat> so in my store there's categories if you look at the left it'll say watercolor books uh, art books I think mixed media art books and coloring books and I think not think I know I have some weight loss uh, stuff there 
look for the whole subsection of coloring books on the left. All right. So like I said, doesn't matter to me that the Sharpie went through. So alcohol marker is going to go through. But Stampin' Up, which are, I believe, Zig markers. But, you know, Crayola, any of those markers aren't going to show through. Only And, and I'm telling you, for, for Sharpies, that barely goes through. But I'm going to do mixed media on this side. And I'll color this this beautiful owl on the other side. So you know what I mean, Vern? I've kind of come to the conclusion I'm not going to <laughs> ever color all what I've colored books I've got. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. But I sure will enjoy using half, like, let's be honest, I'm not going to ever color this bug. But, you know, I might have fun coloring that. Or maybe none of those, you know, inspire me and I'll just gesso the whole thing and do something different. So I'll just keep flipping through here. So lots of the backgrounds are colored, and uh, then this is what we're going to do tonight. So this is my, you know, example. So we got the lion on the one side, and he was all white. I'll bring it closer in a second. I've 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 half colored him. And on this side, so the original book paper is this, this doodling. And there was some, you can barely see some snails there, some snail's tails. All I got left of the snail's tails. <laughs> um, but here I used the deli paper. So if you see the deli paper that we made on, on Wednesday again with Patty's Patty Pear stencils, I up, you know, put some paint over it, did some of other Patty's new stencils. Uh, oh, rats. What is it called? Oh, it's right here. You can get these at iStencils.com. And this one is Oh My. O O O My. So I loved, you know, I, I really love the little peak here of the snail's tails. And um, so, again, this guy was all white. Yes. AJ says, Paula, a color a colorer of some and a collector of many. <laughs> a clicking sound? That's bad news. That might mean my volume's too high. I hope that's better. So again, I probably wasn't going to color all those doodles, but I sure enjoyed making this half an art journal and this half, you know, I, and what I what I really like about it, and I'm not good with prompts. Um, hearing a bit of, I think it's just because I was loud and excited, Jean. Let me know if I if it's any better now. I'm using the same stuff, but it might have been up too much and, you know, I've had maybe one too many coffees. You know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> okay, so on this side, I colored, uh, now, for example, like, like Didi taught us, colored in marker, and then I went over with color pencil. Uh, these are Prismacolors, and the same thing for these doodles. And they're all little, they're all little doodles. I don't know if it's Zen tangling, Zen doodling, doodling, tangling. I don't know. <laughs> But so I had fun shading all those. Obviously, I still have to shade his face. I did do his eyes. I don't know if you can tell. And I added some splots on this page. And, you know, because I ink everything, I ink the sides. So, um, I mean, it's an Insta background. And then I thought, you know, the doodles that are in this guy, in this guy's mane, um, I thought, ooh, I'll mimic those, you know, the doodles type feathers and, and hopefully tie the two pages even more. Once this is done colored, coloring, because I don't want to get too much paint on this guy in case it messes up my coloring, but I think I might take Patty's Oh My stencils and, you know, do a couple around the edges too so it really goes, um, thanks everybody. Hi Annabelle. You know what was funny? We went to Walmart to so I wanted to go to Walmart to get the the glitter markers, Crayola glitter markers, which are awesome by the way. My mom got me my mom got me into those. Uh hi Carrie. Um now I forget what I was gonna say. Oh yeah. And all of the pe Crayola pencil crayons was were out of stock. <laughs> So somebody's out there is coloring. Someone out there is coloring. So, you know, I'm still learning all this stuff. I actually, I, you know, when I did his eyes and stuff, I, I 
channeled my inner, inner Didi, you know, and I actually looked at a real lion to figure out what his uh, eyes are. So, so what I was saying is I'm not the best at prompts. When somebody else says, Paula, do a page about doors. Well, I probably could do a page about doors. But, you know, I, I'm not good at, at prompts. But I'm really looking forward, you know, it excites me to to work these two pages together. So I'm all about the coloring. I'm on, like I said, I'm on that bandwagon. I love art journals. And to find one that I could make do both, uh, that was exciting. So nothing's coming through, even though that paint's not too wrinkly. Um, I did do a little bit of Sharpie, which is what you're seeing there uh, when I tried something there first. But um, So I'll keep flipping through. There's a fox. Now, you know, see that this is the thing. Maybe I can just, when I art journal, paint us all black, all out black. You know, who knows? Um, I've done a couple more back here to show you the... Look at this! It's a pug! Well, I don't know if it's a pug or a French bulldog. It's gonna, it's gonna be a pug. <laughs> it's go I'll have to draw his tail, like Bella, her tail out here somewhere. And then, I mean, it's a shame. Some pages... You know, and you can always do tippins. You know what I mean, Vern? Elizabeth is what was I thinking? Yeah. Does glitter come off like, uh, yeah, that's a thing, AJ. When my mom colored some of those pages, um, you know, the page next to it, the glitter, it doesn't, it's not really glitter. It's not like flying around the room. You just get a nice gleam. A glisten or a gleam. <laughs> All right. And they've got some camels. But, but, I keep saying but, but, uh, you know, I'm never going to color all this. I'm quite happy coloring only one camel, you know, and doing the other page something else, right? Uh, I didn't color any of this. This is some of the stuff that's already colored in the book. <clears throat> Look at these. I don't know if they're ostriches or emus, but they're pretty cute. Now, see, maybe this one I would fully color because I think they're so cute. Got some spoons. It's a major house scene here. So there's lots of color. Leaves. Here's a bunny with the doodles. Some teepees. <clears throat> and again, there's three different books like this. I have another one coming. These books. Uh, well, Canadian Amazon were $13. You know, the regular price is $15 American. <clears throat> Maybe one of the nice ladies in chat can tell me. But they're not too expensive. Hey, I just paid $30 bucks for, for a Ranger Dilutions art journal. All right, here's the last one that I did, I think. Maybe we shall see. Um, I colored all this. this. There's no shading pencil work. This is just my Stampin' Up! markers, which as I was saying, I'm so glad finally I'm able to, I have something to use them for. I'm using them up after these 12 or 13 years. The tooth, it's smooth, Trina. There's there's very little tooth. Like it's just, it, it, the pages are awesome. They're so smooth and sturdy and nothing's coming through other than Sharpie, but you know, everything. Sharpie goes through everything. So again, Wednesday night did some deli paper because I know lots of you guys like to say that you know I don't show enough I do all these mono prints and deli papers and all that and I don't do much with them but whoa I'm gonna be I'm gonna be deli jelly plating up a storm oh it's a really smooth book hey Julie so again love the whales so maybe you know I'm not gonna do all these but th this is tiny stuff my friends this is tiny I haven't seen it to, to order it anywhere, Carol, unless I order from Ameri the U.S. Amazon, and that's not cheap. Um, so I'm not going to color this because I'm not going to bust out my pens. I, like some of these tiny things, you wouldn't even be able to use a pen. Although the Stampin' Up! markers I use, and you know, I'm sure Stampin' Up! These are just the regular, like these are what they look like, Stampin' Right! markers. But you know, Zig makes the same kind. These are my old... This is an old zig scroll and brush, but it's the same marker. Um, but it does have the one real fine end, right? The pen end that you could probably get into some of these spaces. But, you know, that doesn't excite me. So I'll just cover this page and work on that. Uh, Patty, this particular one's called Calming. 
therapy anti-stress there's also a creative one and a color one this one was my favorite of all three I've seen them all three in real life um, but uh, what are these guys called? Dar always does them. I'm not sure there's this sugar skulls and it lays flat. Look how I, you know, it's amazing how flat it, it lays. I guess it's got a little bit of a, uh, seam, um, uh, sewn seam binding in there. Hopefully that's through my link rain. Hopefully that's through my link. <laughs> All right. Well, that's you could use dilutions paint. You know, I use craft paint, but that's a fun thing. You can do whatever. Uh, I could have painted that absolutely rather than using a sharpie. So we got a, I don't know, some type of bird over here. <laughs> Hi, Sherry. Some froggies. So like for real, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna paint all these froggy color all these, but it'll be a nice, you know nice journal page and look at this look at this kitty on one side and the queen of hearts i love cards and uh hi vicky good to see you no bleed with tom only sharpie has i mean alcohol markers is going to soak great right through but it wasn't that much bleed you know, and for me, like I said, it didn't matter, not that page, it didn't matter that it bled because, you know, you can see it through that one. But it doesn't matter because that's, I'm going to do some art journaling on this page anyways. Um, but, you know, alcohol markers are going to bleed through any pages, but none of the, none of the, uh, Markers I've used have bled through any of this so far. Some bugs might just take the gesso to all those. A wagon. Another fox. And so then this section is called doodling. Complete the doodles in this section with loose lines, swirls, squiggles, and patterns. And so then you can add your own doodles to some of this stuff. A nice hawk, raven. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add some of these other journals stuff that I've covered. So I've showed this more than once that I colored from the Owl's book from um, Creative Haven. And then I can color the background. These are pretty cool doodled feathers. I was a little awkward because the way I cut this out. So I don't know how I'm going to fix this guy. I might have, right now I just have them as a pocket. But, you know, I might paint that out. I'm not sure yet, but he's happy living there right now <clears throat> next to the eels. He's scaring the eels some birds you know and these are exactly the ones that i would just paint over you know to when i'm art journaling or whatnot i would just paint it over there's a little ship in the seas so you can do all the doodles you want or you can just paint it thanks and then this is another strip that I had from uh, Wednesday night of deli paper that I just stuck in on top of this doodle. I think this page was meant to do the whole page in this same doodle sequence, but that's just not who I am. Maybe some, you know, you guys love to do it. <laughs> but I do like these little hummingbirds. It'll be fun to color in. And some beautiful horses. And then see some that are so beautiful, then I will color both sides. It's all about, you know, what you want to. There's a girl in there, admit in, in there somewhere. More flamingos for you to doodle. And uh, another fox. That might be fun to actually try to doodle in there. Some random lamps. Deer. Looks like farm country. You can doodle a farm. Elephants. A llama. I think it's a llama. <laughs> All right, if anybody has any que hi Judy, any questions for me or anything, put it in caps. I appreciate it. All right, nice clock. This one, I just like the graph. I don't know what I'm going to do in here, but I really like the look of that. Some seahorses, some smaller things if you want to do in it. I like this a lot. What a cool idea is this. Little watercolor splotch and then the doodling on top. I love that. I gotta finish that page. 
and uh, some coffee cups. You know, I love me some coffee. Oh, here's here's this Crayola Spark Hold the Fort sparkly markers. And now that I showed it, we are going to work on a page in here. Can you see the sparkle? Can you see it now? Okay, so you can see the glimmer, the gleam on the other side. It does leave a little shimmer. I'll, I'll try to. So can you see the glitter on um, both the page that it was facing and the page I colored? Those are the Crayola markers. Um, Crayola glitter markers. I'm talking to the cheap ones. Boy, they work nice, but you, you're going to get a little gleam on the other side. A little gleamage. <laughs> All right. So for those who missed it at the beginning, this is the type of thing that I'm going to do in this in this uh, coloring book that I'm turning into an art journal. Um, <clears throat> so this is the type of thing I'm going to do. I've already finished pretty much. Oh, I got to do some coloring over here. We're going to work on another page. Um, maybe I should. Okay, so I think what I want to do is work on this one because I do like are this. What are these called again? These German dolls. All right, and this one's kind of um. This one's kind of Easter, Easter, Halloweenish. Russian dolls. My bad, Leanne. I apologize. Russian dolls. Oh, one thing I did want to say about coloring. Um, when, you know, I'm not the best at staying in lines yet. I mean, that's what they're, that's what they're, uh, that's what this is all about is practicing, right? So lots of times I take my pencil and I go over you know, some of the lines, right? And it looks a little, so the black that's uh, from the doodles, you kind of, kind of loses its, um, you know, appeal. So I know that Didi said, or a couple people have said that to use a pen, I've tried my, I've tried a couple pens and for whatever reason, right? I guess, cause it's the wax in the pencil, the pen, the marker's not working over it. So so I did buy some Prismacolor Very Thin pencils. Uh, very thin. They are very thin, but I think they're called Very Thin. Sorry, I ripped the box. I just couldn't wait to get in them. Rip? No, I'm just kidding. Um, this was a 24 set of Very Thins, and I mean that's what the thing. They have a hard point. This is the only one that I um, sharpened. They don't come sharpened. But it's so fine point and and dark enough. Apparently, they're not as um, they're not as uh, blendy as the regular Prismas, but they're sure good for just going along those doodled lines to make them a little bit darker. Say if I got the white over it or whatnot, it definitely helps for that. So I don't know if that's a tip or not. I haven't figured out how to use the mar the marker over that uh my personally but i'm still practicing so all right back to this back to this all right so maybe because it is kind of easter i might just use the exact same stencil well this kind of does look like a spider web all right i think that's what i'm going to use first this is a patty tolly parish stencil I think it's called back and forth. They are hard, yeah. And I think that's what helps, you know, end thin, right? So I can get I can get a point on it um pretty easily. I am looking for some clear gesso. Excuse me for a second. Oh, now I find my ruler. All right. I mean, if you don't have clear gesso, you can use matte medium or a matte gel medium or whatever you got. I think I need a piece of deli paper to go in between this next sheet or underneath the uh, thing, I believe. All right. 
So this stencil is not quite, well, we talked about how big the book was. I think we said that it was 11, it's about 11 and three quarters by eight and a quarter. Um, so this is an eight by 10 stencil made for the eight by 10 jelly plate. So I'm going to center, probably center low over here. All right. And now, so this is art, art, well, it's art master, which is a, a really cheap company, which is the Canadian one. I know try art makes a good clear gesso. I'm not going to be able to open this. Mm. This is bad news. There we go. Hi, Vicky. Oh, you missed it all, Vicky. You missed it all. This one's called uh, Calming. Let me put this on here first. So I let me start getting this, or we'll be talking all. I'll be talking all night. I'll flip back to it here in a minute. All right, like I said, there's some black left over on this. I'm just going to use my this makeup wedge. Did I say nose sharpener? No, I don't believe it. All right, I'm going to use my mat as a... Sherry says she would photocopy the pages. Well, I'm just going to use the whole thing as an art journal because let, you know, and you can do that. But, you know, like Didi says, I agree with Didi. Yeah, there's so many coloring books I have. Well, I think I have like 14 or 15 or so, maybe more. But there's even more coming out. So, you know, I'm probably not going to color it more than once. I'm probably not going to color every page. And that's why I'm doing this. This one isn't, this one is calming. Yeah, sorry. There's a creative one and a color one as well. Check out my A store, Vicky. All right. So let's. I'm gonna tilt. I'm gonna have to hold the stencil. Sorry, I'm tapping. I'm just trying to get a little bit out. I didn't think it was that low. Look. Oh, that's. Look at that. I don't know if you saw that. I think I need to get me some some new clear gesso. All right, I'm just gonna spounce on top of the stencil here, and you know, I say this all the time, but you really want to go straight up and down, um, especially when you have a stencil like this that has thin designs in it, uh, thin thin lines of the stencil design. I'm trying the best I can, or as best I can, to not, you know, I don't want the the gesso to seep underneath. Now, you're not going to be able to see this till we put down our first layer of paint. And this is going to be similar to what we did uh, last Saturday night. Um, but this time, we're going to use some clear gesso. Like I said, you could use, you know, regular matte medium. Or a matte gel. What the heck, you could use glossy if you wanted to. I imagine might be some, might be sticky, but all right. Again, you're not going to be able to see this, so I'm just kind of, just kind of doing it. Thanks, Janet. Is everybody else freezing? Because it's been happening a couple times at other streams, but I just updated my computer too. Or updated the windows yet again. Like we just had an update the other day. So one thing I learned a long time ago is that you're supposed to stir gesso, clear gesso. And I'm just, I think I forgot that lesson, maybe. All right. So my just clear gesso has gone pretty thick, if you can see. I might have to use it all up here shortly. As I like to say, when I'm going to use something up like that, I'll just go all willy-nilly with it, without abandon. All right. 
Well, sometimes if people freeze, it could be could be multiple things. Could be Ustream, could be the person's computer's not fast enough, could be their internet's not fast enough. I had to do that before. Upgrade my upgrade my internet. I also have to, you know, over the six years that I've been streaming, I've also had to get a new computer because it wasn't fast enough. Um, it wasn't fast enough to process. Bless Simon. I don't know if you could hear him sneezing just now. So, yeah, I, I uh, like I said, I love coloring books. Totally on the bandwagon. Totally enjoying them. And that's, that's you know... I'm going to be sitting on the couch anyways, but uh, it's fun to have something to do. And not just something to do, but to something, for me anyways, to really practice, you know, to be able to really practice my coloring. All right. So in real life over here, I'm kind of off to the side trying to look for the sheen of where I've already put some of this gesso. I'm getting a little bit of wrinklage, but I believe once I heat gun it out, it's not going to be too bad. It's definitely not wrinkling as much as my as my uh, composition journal, composition books journals, that's for sure. All right, let's see what we got. Can I see it? Well, let's hope it works. <laughs> this is this could be another how not to stream. All right. I've got a whole bunch of clear gesso there. I think what I'm going to do, let me put this on this side for a, well, let's just dry this first. Heat gun. Like that's any different than any of your other supplies, Eileen. Heat gun. Or your cash could be full, that's right, Jean. I think both the streamer's cash could be full and the viewer's, right? Yeah, I mean, you, you, you need to use them to show us your fancy dancy pencils. I agree with Janet. Hey, Colleen. I'm going to try it on the other side. I agree, Vicky. And you know what I say when you buy the Luminesque? Because I think that's the next one I'm gonna uh, gonna try. Maybe just the 12 or 24 pack of the uh, Faber Castell Luminesque. It, it's all in, you know, the sake of, for the sake of research. <laughs> just for the sake of research. Gotta keep myself educated. So very important that your page is dry. You know, I don't want my gesso. Well, I can see it. What I'm going to do is actually put this here for now. I just want to use the rest of my gesso. Uh, so I'm going to turn to a page that, you know, I know I'm not going to color, but one that maybe I want to see part of what's underneath. So, you know, maybe we can just do it right here on these. Um, I really love the, what do you call this hand? But so you know, I do like the turtles, but again, it's such a, a tiny they're they're so tiny that I know that I would just not be able to color them. You know what I mean, Vern? So I'm just gonna take this clear gesso and it's really thick. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to it. And I'm just gonna paint the whole thing. 
So you remember we've done, you know, over the years I've done lots of shows and examples of putting clear gesso over scrapbook paper and then doing a bunch of white back paint techniques to, you know, distress it up and make it look cool. So it's going to be no different, especially in this particular coloring book that has some cool, some of the pages are already colored and it's got some cool designs. So clear gesso is just going to give it some more tooth and it's going to act as a buffer, right? So I, I have a video on YouTube called Why Gesso? And it really goes over, you know, what happens if you put gesso over a pattern paper and how paint reacts with it uh, compared to if you just put paint over a, an unprimed or a plain, plain piece of scrapbook paper or any type of printed paper. So you kind of need the... You need this this coat so that your paint doesn't sink right into your page. But check out that YouTube video called Why Gesso. I'm Journal Artista over there. I'm 47. Eileen, Eileen, are you 47 years old? Are you saying how many of the pencils you got? I'm not sure. Eileen got some fancy dancy colored pencils. The Karen Dosh ones. And I mean, we all love our Neo Color, Karen Dosh Neo Color 2 so much. I can't see why the pencils wouldn't be any, would be any different. All right, so not only did I use up that clear gesso, I got another page primed and ready. <laughs> oh. So I'm just going to put the piece of deli paper here. You can just use wax paper. Just gonna let it. Well, let's hope it. We might glue it in on that. Let's hope not. I'm just gonna take a baby wipe and wipe my nonstick mat here, so I don't get too much. All right. So back to this. I gotta make sure it's dry. A little bit more dry. You know, I don't want to start putting paint on and start rubbing away and have, you know. It'd just be bad news. We want to make sure it's completely dry. He can. Stay with the tour, Ange. Didn't you say that to me last night? <laughs> Someone told you. Hmm. Who's that? Someone. Sounds like something Simon would say. Let me tell you, I thought on the Canadian Amazon, those, those Karand, Kar, the, the expensive, it was like $500 for the set. I was like, this can't be right. All right, so I just use my hand to make sure that it's dry. Sorry, Annabelle. Oh, poor thing, Kent. But it might have been Flash because I got a little thing notice that said that I had to update Flash, which of course I didn't do. Right? All right. So I got some orange going on. So on this side, I'm definitely going to color her. I really liked her. So I think, you know, blue, co the complementary color to orange is blue. So maybe I'll start with a dark blue and see what happens. We'll go from there. I'm just going to be using some Liquitex Basics I have close to me. This one happens to be Phalo Cyanine. What the heck? I think it's supposed to be. Well, this one says Azul. Anyways, Phalo. Let's just say Phalo Blue. <laughs> Is that a different language? Cyanine? Cyanine? Like, uh, anyway. I'm not all into it. It's blue. Let's use some blue. <laughs> all right. I'm going to put that on my nonstick mat here and get a brush. I'm just going to use probably the same brush. 
I like, I'm really a, um, a fan of using one inch flat or three quarter of an inch flat. I guess it's because that's what I started with. We were talking the other day about Donna Dewberry. This is a plaid one stroke brush because, you know, years ago on the home shopping club, I of course had to have a few sets of them, but they really are good brushes. But that's, she's got me used to, so this is a three quarter flat. All right, so I think I'm going to go this way. Oh, I need another piece of deli paper. You know, normally if I'm working my, my art journal, like, um, you know, my composition books or whatnot, I don't really put paper or, uh, you know, I don't worry about protecting the sheet underneath. But because I'm going to color some of these pages, right, like with color pencil and stuff, I don't want to necessarily get paint all over every one of the pages not at first anyways it's eventually going to happen of course but cyanide blue i the phalo cyanide like what the heck <laughs> hey you must admit that i am doing better with pronouncing the colors right i am than when i first started that's for sure Usually, usually the paint manufacturers just put phalo blue on there. Uh, they don't have all that long name behind it. So like I said, I'm letting the, just like when I use scrapbook papers, how I, I let them, I let the papers inspire, you know, what I'm going to do on the art journal page. The same thing's going to happen with this. I'm going to let... This paint's a little thick, so I'm I'm continuing to dip my brush into the water here. Well, this is a see everybody, you know, we all have lots of coloring books, right? Well, some of us maybe more than others. Well, maybe some people aren't even on the craze. But this is the this is one that you need. <laughs> well, you only need it if you know I I need it. That's all I'm gonna say. If you like art journaling, all right. So I got a little bit of paint there. I'm just gonna go to a different book over here, find a page. I need to be quicker. I need to be quicker because I'm going to be wiping that off. I, this this isn't a leftover journal. It's one of my current work in process journals. It's just a Canson Mixed Media journal. But uh, I just want to use up the paint that's on there. All right. Wipe it off. Not to get it on my book. Not to get too much on my book. All right, so I can see where some of it's really wet. Maybe you guys can't. Hey, you gotta like doing it, right? You know. But I suppose a lot of us that that love these paper arts, what you know, no matter what paper art you're doing, um, or got into the paper arts, have always loved stationary pens, pencils, you know, all that fun stuff. Or I think I have. So. I'm just gonna I gotta make sure to continue to um, move your baby wipe around so that you can, you know, right now there's a ton of paint on that baby wipe, right? So if I go to a plain page in my art journal over here, you know, you can wipe it off. There's that much paint on here, but you wanna continue to flip your baby wipe so that you're wiping off paint, so that I'm wiping off paint rather than um, just moving it around. My attempt is to wipe it off the gesso and let it sink into the spots that don't have any gesso. So when you get up to this point, I mean, this baby wipe's pretty much done, right? Um, it's if I use it anymore again I'm not wiping off paint I'm just spreading it around so I'm gonna get a brand new one 
and let's just go you'll start to see now how it really I'm gonna start seeing the orange again a little bit more is the clear gessos preserving well let's see how much pigment we got going on yeah that's right Jean she never understood why she had to go to uh, the stationery store every week to see what was new now I guess she understands that's right I think we've all had the love for crayons you know all this stuff for years not all of us many of us that do these type of paper arts all right so you can see where I did not put any gesso so let me go a little bit close up here and, and you know I'm going to do multiple layers so you can see where the stencil is now the stencil's asking of uh it is a lot of blue <laughs> That was some, uh, well, phthalo blue is already, always really, you know, potent. It's potent stuff. All right, so this is just a page. I got to be careful. I don't want to rub a hole right through it. Got to make sure it's dry a little bit. You know, it's not really the paint necessarily that makes it wet. But, you know, when you're going at it with a baby wipe, two baby wipes like this, um, you know, this page is going to get wet. So let's give that. I'm going to take a new baby wipe here. Do one quick swipe over it. Because we want to retain some of that orange, right? So right now I'm just going lightly. I'm going lightly only where the, the gesso is through the stencil there. And now we're going to dry it. Heat gun. Very important, uh, again, to get... Uh, no. No, I'm not making any of announcements until probably a couple weeks. Don't worry. I'll let you know. <laughs> I got two really good, cool things coming up. Um, somewhat unrelated. Uh, oh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. He gun. I don't know which one I can announce first, but they are both super exciting. He gun. So I'm really gonna have to make this this sure this page is dry. Again, I don't wanna be uh, rubbing right through this page. I kind of do have to go back and forth. <laughs> yeah, and neither, all I can say is that neither announcement is that I'm pregnant. It's not that. <laughs> oh boy. For sure, not that. Can't confirm or deny anything else, but that's definitely. <laughs> it's Simon's pregnant. <laughs> Poor Simon. Okay, I think we're almost done. Got a little wrinklage going on. 
No, no, no. They're they're both art related. My my announcements are both art related. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say. I'm not pregnant. They're art related. I'm not getting married. Well, better better ask Simon. Simon. Yeah. The girls are wondering if one of my announcements is that we're getting married. What do you say to that? What announcements? <laughs> it's just announcements. What announcements? <laughs> oh, man. Poor Simon. He'll be all right. All right. What color next? Should we try a little green? See what happens? Should I try different? Maybe we'll, we'll go for a different color, a blue. We definitely want a couple different layers. Maybe I'll add some red. What do you guys think? Maybe we got... Well, we got some green in this in this page. And we got this burgundy color. Um, well, it's light burgundy, I suppose. Let's see what happens when we put a little bit of green on it. And just so you know, you don't have to always use Liquitex Basics. I'll use a little bit of Bahama Blue. <laughs> oh, poor Simon. Oh, boy. Shows how much he, he pays attention to what I say, eh? All right, back to my paintbrush here. It's got some darker color on it. So we're just going to do a couple layers. Wipe back, do more layers, wipe it back, do a few more layers, wipe it back. Then we'll do some, maybe some collage underneath. Now, craft paint dries a lot quicker than student grade or artist grade. So you know um you have to be careful of that when you're putting it down you know for example in this particular sheet if i did the whole page uh it's quite possible that it'll be it will dry quickly <clears throat> it will dry so quick that i won't have the opportunity to wipe it back so it's definitely a fine balance you don't want to be so quick to wipe back that you just you know just all go all away and you know we want to leave some down, but you can't be too slow or you'll have to put your back into it and it may not come up at all. <clears throat> hey, Cheryl. Woo -wee. My friend, that is some, that's some dedication right there. When you type a hundred names into the chat. Night, Patty. All right. So I think it's about, uh, you can always test it. I'm just going to wipe a little bit back here. So now you can really see. So I put the craft paint down, right? We've created that layer. And now once I wipe this back. So because, because there is no gesso, no primer, uh, anything like that, where the, you know, where the stencil is not, where the negative, the negative. You guys get me every week on positive and negative stuff. Uh, so now you can really see that that this green paint is pushing and in, sinking into the paper where there is no gesso. That's what I'm trying to say. You won't be able to wipe back anything, or not very much of it anyways. Maybe a little bit of it because we have that first coat of paint on there. So I probably wiped the, that back uh, too quick because um, you don't see any of the blue at all. And I did want to leave a little bit as a kind of a distress thing. So, But anyways, that, that, that takes some practice because it really depends on what type of paint you're using and uh, how long you let it dry. You really got to... Yeah, do some do some testing on your own. And I'm constantly flipping the baby wipe. I know I don't talk about it a lot because I do it so I've done this so much that I just do it naturally. Um, but very important that you flip your baby wipe around so that again you're actually rubbing it off, not moving it around. 
So I'm really liking how that's going. Look how cool that looks. I'm going to flip it around, and I'll show you close here in a minute. I'm going to flip it around and do the bottom half. I'm not sure. Maybe only a little. Maybe I'll only do, let me paint in some over here. I really like this color. And this is uh, just some um, Americana Bahama blue paint. Like I said, I went to Michael's uh, with my mom sometime last week. can't remember what day it was. And for sure, they are not at my Michael's in Canada, in Ontario, Canada. They are not, sell <clears throat> not selling Americana paints anymore, craft paint. I don't know why. I don't know if it's everywhere. I'm just saying it's my Michael's or not. All right. So you could use some white gesso on this. White gesso is what we used uh, last Saturday night. But I used clear gesso because I wanted to see some of that pattern from the original, from the coloring book that was originally on the coloring book page. Night sharing. All right, I'm going to wipe this back. And then I'll show everybody that's just coming in what book I'm working on. Again, I'm flipping. So I can see that this part in particular is really shiny. So I don't want to touch that yet necessarily. So again, flipping the baby wipe around. I might have to get a new one. I think, I think I might leave it a little bit, uh, you know, more opaque around the edges like this. Hey, Robin. And, and, you know, like, I have no idea. It could be. I don't know if it's because Michaels is focusing more on their CraftSmart brand. Maybe because we're in Canada, they're thinking an Americana name is not... Who knows? Maybe it just it didn't sell in my Michaels. I don't know. So I, I haven't checked any other Michaels because that's the only place I knew where to buy it in Canada. Okay, I got to be careful now. Remember, where there's no gesso... I, you know, if you, if you do too, if you press too hard, it could go right through the page and we don't want that heat gun. Yeah, yeah, it just recently they stopped Sandy, just recently. So after I put that craft paint color down, we really lost all the blue, eh? Completely lost all the blue. Hot. I'm telling you, sometimes that clear gesso or um, any of the medium really really hot so this page is wrinkling quite a bit more than the last page but I think I don't know if you can see it here I really think once once the other side is done, once it's been closed, it's not going to be too bad. But again, if I'm arting on this side of the page, I'm probably not going to color this side. Maybe you can, maybe I can with just markers without any pencil, because it's going to be all lumpy bumpy. So if you're just coming in, this 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 coloring book that I'm turning into an art journal is called Calming Therapy Anti-Stress Coloring Book. 
this one's called calming there and if you watch my recording a little bit later on you'll uh you'll see what's inside this one there's also another one called creative and color and it has wonderful uh nice thick pages and what i'm doing is turning it into an art journal right got a little bit coloring going on got a little bit coloring going on and some art journaling going on and the pages in this particular one are just so thick and the covers thick that it really is going to be nice i think i am going to well i'm going to enjoy working in it working in it and that's what's that's what's important all right i think i'm going to go back to this particular blue rather than the phalo blue <laughs> let's go into some cerulean blue you <laughs> good night colleen All right, so what I did, and, and back to, if anyone's new, just quickly flip through again. The deli paper that I printed on with the jelly plate, jelly plate, deli print, jelly paper, that's, that's tongue twister. Um, the deli paper that we used, the jelly, we used on the jelly plate, I've glued onto the art journal page, and then I've colored the image on the other side you know, with colors similar. I'm a, I'm having them inspire one another. So this darker pink, I'm going to bring in some darker pink onto this page. Um, so gluing in deli paper that that you've uh, jelly printed on is real easy, and I think looks pretty cool. And it keeps the book pretty flat, right? It keeps the book pretty flat. Oh, here's one for Vicky and Mandala. So again, here's my jelly play printed. Deli paper, jelly plate printed deli paper. Hoo wee! Say that five times fast. That we did on Wednesday, and then I colored these mand the mandalas. Mandalas. Um, no shading or anything there. Might add some glitter to it, maybe. There'd be a lot of shading if I did that. But I'm definitely going to move in this brighter color of green and brighter blue into this page when I do this, that art journal page. All right, back to this. So see how we're putting paint around there, getting painty, but can still see the original page design. So I'm going to put a tiny bit of blue. And, you know, I believe in using what's around me. So right now my liquid texts are beside me because I was plating the other day. I was model printing the other day, so I'm going to use them on my page. Thanks, Vicky. All right. It's fun. I'm really enjoying it. I've done... Those aren't the only ones. I guess I'll go back and show it real quick for those. I've been working on a couple of the different ones. Here's another, again, deli print. Jelly print on deli paper. And then those colors inspired. And I put the piece of deli paper down here too, like a road or something. And it inspired this coloring. I colored that pink, blue, and green. So uh, I'm really enjoying it, as you can tell. Probably you can tell by the excitement. I keep saying the same things over and over. All right. Well, I'll wipe off my brush here. So, same thing. Maybe I'll go from this top end to... This is definitely Cerulean Blue Hue. It's definitely a different color than the... Phalo, that's for sure. Almost looks like it needs a punch of phalo in it. Let's see what happens. Whoa, that's too much paint. Oh boy. I think it had to be deeper. I love cerulean blue hues, particularly on the jelly when I'm doing my my prints, but I'm not sure it's really I don't know, vibrant may not be the right word. The right color of blue to go with this type of, this burgundy I got going on. But I'm going to mix both of them together. I'll have a little bit of cerulean blue hue, maybe a little bit of phalo. I'm just, I'm just winging it, my friends. So this particular book, I mean, there are tons of coloring books on the market, right? Who's all, I'm waiting for the Harry Potter one, and Outlander one. <laughs> anyway, there's lots, there's lots coming out. 
but um, some art journals or some coloring books, depending on what style they are, may not be the best for mixed media, right? Which is why I'm suggesting one of these in one of these one of these ones, one of the ones in this series is what I'm trying to say, because I know that the the pages are thick enough and it's got the nice hardback. I know that there's a also an update. There's a flash update that I keep, you know, maybe that's what people are having a problem with. So it's pretty shiny. Maybe I'll just try to go lightly. No, it's still too soon. I don't want to wipe it back so soon that we re that we lose all that blue. So I'll take a little night. Is Cheryl leaving or Orla? Or let's say goodnight. I know. Angel Cheryl and Angel Orla confuse some people. <clears throat> I know. So does the uh, so does Lugine and Lesline. Sometimes when there's similar names, see that's a little see how shiny that is? It's too wet. If I start wiping this back, you know. I guess I could, but it's not leaving. It's not doing what I want it to do. It'll just wipe all the way rather than leaving a distressed type of look that I want. So, hi, Julie. Um, so all the coloring that I've done, I got some, like Didi showed us, the Crayola Super Tips. But a lot of them, I've been, I busted out my Stampin' Up! And I have a whole set of Stampin', 48 set of Stampin' Rights, and a 48 set of Zig, well, this is Scroll and Brush, but, you know, the Zig Writers that I've been using. And they are a little bit different color, the Stampin' Up! versus the Zig Writer. So this is Stampin' Right, and the other Zig Right. So I have a lot of those markers I've been using, mostly. All the Mandala was done with my old Stampin' Up! Stampin' Right. I don't know what the new Stampin' Up! markers look like now, guys. Uh, these are just water-based wa markers. But the old Stampin' Up! markers were made by the same people that made Zig. Kiritaki, I guess. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been using. And I've had these for, like, you know, over 10 years. So finally, I feel actually feel really good <laughs> about myself that I'm finally using them after all this time. And I feel no way about it I don't uh, you know I've been I've been treasuring them for this long all right but yeah so that that one is only marker but the I don't know Vicky did you see the lion the lion the lion is is the zig marker zig or stampin up depending which one which color I need um, the lion then the shading is done with Christmas. But I'm having a good time. Um, and why I'm using a lot of the Stampin' Up! ones is because it's the scroll, it's the brush. I'm really, um, hey Whitney, uh, I apologize. <laughs> apologize for not saying hello. Um, <clears throat> now what was I saying? Got me all confused. Oh yeah, the, because of the brush, I really, you know, for some of these spaces, I'm really enjoying using reusing the brush tip rather than the bullet tip of the Crayolas. But uh, hey, I bought those bad boys. I paid good money for them. <laughs> I might as well use them. So again, I'm going on the uh, going on to get. Uh, I think Whitney is Angie's niece or cousin. Or oh, I'll show it again. Because the lion is the first page I've completely done. So I'm using just a, a clean baby wipe now to, to make sure I wipe back. So look now, I'm going right back to that original orange. Dan? Hi, Dan. Didn't I say Dan? Hi, Dan. Oh, no. I got everybody upset now. Anybody else? Anybody else I need to say hello to? <laughs> I apologize. No, I I am 
so grateful that everybody's here. I truly am. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it now. It's starting to look cool. I'll show you here in a second. So, so see, we can really see. Let's go over here somewhere. I apologize for the shadow for my camera. I'm hoping you guys can see that clearly. But I really like how, you know, we can do all this mixed media work. I can do everything, you know, all this stuff that I would normally do in my art journal. But it's so fun to do in a in a coloring book. All right, so let's move this. I'm going to put this all over here, the piece of deli paper there to protect it. Uh-oh. I'm going to try to remove the deli paper on this side. If you remember, we just put... Uh-oh. My deli paper is glued on there in some spots. Because deli paper is not really wax paper necessarily. It's good for protecting pages. Maybe not so good for... Uh... <laughs> Stop sticking. Alright, so I got my little uh, guys over here. But I'm probably... Get... Is this a Mahindi hand? Rats. I'm not sure what they're called. I apologize for my ignorance. Um... So I got this leftover paint. You guys probably can't see it on camera. So I got a whole bunch of paint left there. And um, so I'm just going to go over, go willy-nilly over the turtles. You know, I guess I start a lot of journals. As you guys know, I have a lot of journals. But I haven't been this excited about a new journal in a long time. See, maybe I do want to leave some of the turtles over here. You know, you don't have to cover up everything if you don't want to. Poor turtles. I'm sorry you're so hard to color. Yeah, some, some of these tiny spaces, like I said, that's why I like using some of these type of zig or scroll and brush because the one side has the very tiny pen type, right? So that's what that's the writing side. So you can get into the absolute tiniest of places or you can use gel pens or whatever you got. But um, that's too finicky for me. Some people love it. Some people love it. Just... That just makes my eyes cross. I, I saw at Walmart yesterday or the day before, whenever I was out there. Um, so they're having more. I think they had a coloring, a coloring magazine. But, you know, for me, I think I'll do some bamboo. This is a Patty Tully Parish um, stencil from iStencils.com. This one's called Bamboo. I'm just going to wipe off. Anyway, so they had this color pencil, not color pencil, excuse me, coloring magazine. So it was half magazine and half book. I wasn't too impressed with it, to be honest. I didn't learn it. You know, I flipped through it. It was $10. I didn't think it was worth it, but that's just my humble opinion. Maybe you liked it. Um, but they also have those ones that are in, like, the section where, you know, the crossword puzzles are and Sudoku and stuff. And I opened that, and let me tell you, it was, it was so tiny, the designs. I mean, I'm not kidding. I think they would almost be impossible to do. Well, nothing's ever impossible. But man, you would get some major headaches trying to do that. Just saying. <laughs> I really don't know. I mean, people couldn't, wouldn't even be able to get, get a pen in it. So I was a little confuddled. But anyway. You got to do what you like, right? Just like anything else. As I always tell you with your art journals, don't do what's trendy. Do what you like. But lots of times I just happen to like things that are trendy. If you like those tiny designs. I mean, and that's the thing, my friends. There are um, any, any interest you have, there is a coloring book for. Maybe not one you can do mixed media in necessarily, but I'm telling you, there are so many on the market. It's unbelievable. 
any any theme you want. Be warned. All right. So I'm just working on two pages, right? Just using my left using up my leftover paint. So again, you'll still be able to see some of these guys. I'm going to clean up this edge here because I don't like how it looks. Um, so I'm just taking the baby wipe in there. I'll flip my drip book around here. So if you remember, uh, I used the leftover clear gesso and covered this whole page with clear gesso. And that's why we're able to put that blue down and wipe it off. If you just did that without clear gesso or, you know, it doesn't even have to be clear gesso. It could just be a, a matte medium, a thick coat of matte medium. Do, 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 do. So you can still see some of them. Now they look like they're behind bars. Poor turtles! Or it could be like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and this is like the grate in the sidewalk. Posh. The Posh coloring book that I have is um, the Posh coloring I have. I think it's the Pretty Florals or something like that. I really like it. It's the detail. It's not too tiny. But yeah, that's why I got it. I really look like to look at. Um, I really like to look at the books before I buy them. So. I I also did. Um, buy the digital copy of Christy Sablut Sablut Golf Sprite. I hope Christy Christy one day will forgive me. Christy forgives me for messing up her name, but I did buy Golf Sprite's um girls coloring book download. I thought it was just right here. Ah, uh, maybe not. Adult coloring book, and it's her girls. G U L. F S P R I T E. You can find her on YouTube, and her my poor turtles are. Did Joyce ever send me Johnny Depp? He hasn't come yet, Joyceage. <laughs> you want me to show my posh coloring book? It's out in the living room. Hey, Sandy. All right, so back to the main page. Oh, while this is drying, we'll go back to the, real quick, my, so this, this side is the art journal page side. Again, you can sort of new people coming in. Apologize, we're going over the same thing over and over, but the original background had these snails, and now we just see the snail's tails. It was a whole bunch of doodling. That was just all black and white doodling. I added some, you know, printed deli paper, some of Patty Tolly Parish's stencils. This one's called <clears throat> Oh My, O O O My. You get those from iStencils.com. I hand I hand wrote a title, and this is uh, the lion. You can see I colored. I colored him with marker. You know, I started out with marker over here. I added the pencil crayon colored pencils wherever you however you call them so you can see the yellows where I haven't shaded yet and I tried to let one page influence the other and vice versa I did ink the edges and whatnot so you know oh down here the doodling I mimicked what these what these guys look like Hey Sandra You forgot to send Johnny Depp. <laughs> I'm waiting for him. <laughs> I'll wait for him, Joyceage. All right. So I've done, you know, sometimes I'll color, sometimes I'll do some mixed media art. We shall see. I'll definitely have to dry this with the heat gun. Heat gun.
jelly paper everywhere. All right. Now, let's see. I think I'm going to try to add some stencils over the top of this now. I might, I might stencil on some coordinating stencils in this burgundy-ish type color. So, I believe I have a similar color called... <clears throat> hey, Glenda. Hey, Teresa. Uh, this is Cadmium Red Deep Hue, but I have that other magenta one. Not, not light magenta. This is deep violet getting closer I must admit I guess this isn't working a here laser laser so it's a laser in crimson that's my uh that's the one I was looking for all right I think I'm going to do so I like that you can see the the flowers you can still see some of the flowers in the background When I taped my uh, Cloth Paper Scissors DVD, that's, I was looking at Johnny the whole time. Oh, the teleprompter, so instead of, you know, giving prompts, <laughs> they just had a picture of Johnny Depp in his Pirates of the Caribbean uniform. It was perfect. So I'm almost wanting to use, because, you know, like I said, this page, I want to inspire this page, that type of thing, but... I think I'm going to go back to this. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be as in necessarily inspired, but I think I'm going to add some top texture with this and see what happens. This one happens to be uh, the Tribal Dominoes. It's a Patty Tully Parish stencil, I think. I'm not afraid to go over a little bit. You know, in, in my journal, I am probably going to want to have both pages kind of... Um, you know, I want them to go together pretty much. So I don't mind if I'm going to go over a little bit onto that next page. But let me just see where I want to. I guess I'm going to have to, I'm going to put some in this top corner. Let's start with that. Well, let's just do it. All right, so I can go back to my makeup wedge here. I know you can't see, but I'm not putting very much uh, paint on there. I'm going to go straight up and down. This this paint, alizarin crimson, is, is a little bit transparent, loosened, excuse me, so I'm thinking I might have problems, to be honest, with this. It might be an interesting color. Let's see how this works out. Because it's not opaque, it's just going to you know, blend with the other colors I already got going on there. So, I'll take a sneaky peek, see what's happening. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not sure. I think it takes a. There's too many lines. You know what I mean, Vern? Too many. Well, the good news is, if you make something like that you don't like, I'm just going to wipe it off. So, I think what I need to do. What I see is too many lines. Here we have the doodled background. We have the uh, back and forth stencil, you know, which is which el which is also, you know, lines. It was just too much, too many lines. So I think I'm going to take this paint with a card. We're talking with Johnny Depp, and Rain says, I love a man with eyeliner. Yeah, he's You know, anyway, we won't go there. I like that. Uh, I love him in Pirates of the Caribbean, that's for sure. So I'm seeing how this is going to look. I'm starting to think that even though I like this color, with it being translucent, it might not be, um, it might not be the perfect color. But I'm actually like, I don't know if you can tell here, I'm using the end of my, um, hotel key card. 
gift card, whatever you particular may have to use. And I'm actually scraping it across and kind of pushing it into almost like grout. You know, if you're using tiles and grout, I'm kind of pushing it into the the valleys, shall we say, of the stencil that we put down. Oh boy. Well, see, not working so much. Not working so much. <laughs> Let me just wipe this back a very second. Oh well, mixed media. Mixed media. Okay. It's looking a little muddy down here, so I'm going to get a baby, well, find a clean spot on my baby wipe and wipe it back down there. I want it to kind of look cohesive, so I'll just wipe some parts of it out over here. And I got to think about. I definitely need maybe uh, a stencil that has like a big open flower or something. What do you guys think? Oh, that really warmed it up. How do you guys think about that? It makes it even more look a lot more fall. I'm loving how that looks actually. Sometimes, that's why I call them flop opportunities. It didn't go so well, and I like, I'm starting to like that. Wipe this off my table. Let me see. I think maybe we will then just go with the, oh boy. I just dropped all my Halloween stencils on the floor. Heat gun. Hey, oh, in Orlando Blue. Oh, that's why I love so much. <coughs> Thanks, Colleen. Got me thinking about last week's pages and that napkin I used. It's it's almost asking for some like fall like leaves on there now. It's gonna take a while. That feels pretty sticky. Oh, and it's hot. So if I put the circle, well, see, I'm, again, there's lots of circles in this Russian doll over here. I have no idea why I thought they were, she was German. Now, what do you guys think? I should I should use this in white, shouldn't I? Sometimes I like to go to the viewers. You know what this also reminds me of? Like chandeliers. I don't know why. So if you don't think my chat's interesting, right now, for those of you on YouTube, they're discussing which men they like better. <laughs> Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, uh, Mark Harmon, <laughs> Stephen Tyler, Tom Selleck, <laughs> Tom Selleck. <laughs> oh boy, or cream, Eileen, white or cream. Oh, I really like how this looks. Let us see what other stencils. Let's let's. Let's look at some other stencils. But it needs to be something solid, right? Like it needs to be uh, rather than a line drawing, it needs to be something that I can. Uh... Ooh, 
maybe this is a perfect time for some poppy pods some patty tolly parish poppy pods oh i think so my friends i think so I'm just gonna put it down in this corner um gonna have some hanging off the edge here oh this is gonna be good all right i'm gonna think i'm gonna like this <clears throat> cream well probably I'm going to use white probably. <clears throat> All right. Now I'm going to have to cut off. So again, I'm going my makeup wedge over here. Instead of cleaning it, I just cut it off. Wait, what did Linda say? I better listen to Linda. She gets mad. Oh, my, my poppies are going to be white, and then there's, there's too much dark anyway, so right now I need some light. But So again, this is another Patty. This isn't one of Patty's, Patty Tolly Parish newest stencils over at iStencils.com from her newest release, but, you know, one of, one of everybody's favorites is the Poppy Pods. And that's, you know, well, everybody knows I love all stencils. But a lot of Patty's stencils go together well with each other. And, uh, you know, they play nice with each, with each other, which is always good. So, for example, her Tribal series would go well with these Poppy Pods. But even these Poppies go well with any of her geometric type stencils. So. Did I get some of the new ones? I did, Cheryl. Yep. Yeah. The first stencil we used uh, back and forth, the chevron looking one. That is one of Patty's new stencils. The ones I used all of new stencils uh, from her newest line uh, last Wednesday, if you check out the video. And by the way, I've been seriously slacking on uploading to YouTube. So um, thanks to the you know who that sent me an email to, that gave me a she didn't give me the kick in the butt. The email gave me the kick in the butt to remember to upload them. It's because I stream so late, right? So once I say goodnight to you guys, you know, I want to go spend some time with Simon. And then the next day, I just don't prioritize it. But I'm uploading a video every day now until I'm caught up. Yum. Oh. I like the way he's that starting to look. While this is drying, I can quickly go through again. Which Patty, which of the new release? Let's, where am I going to put this that doesn't cause a craft avalanche? So the one I was just using, this one's called Back and Forth. Again, these are iStencil. Available on iStencils.com. Let me just get a Patty set. One of the things. So this one's back and forth, and it's cool because it's hard to see, but they really are like small to big, you know, they do, they do kind of go small, you know what I mean, Vern? And I've been using this one a lot, as you can tell, because I love me some circles, but these aren't circles, these are O's. <laughs> this one's called Oh My, O-O-O-My. Again, I love the... Love those looking ones. This is one of her tribal, from the tribal, this is tribal dominoes. And I think it's a good top stencil. Wasn't good for this particular page necessarily. Um, but, uh, but I like it, of course. This is the bamboo, one I was just using tonight. As you can see, I've used it on my jelly plate too. I'm trying to get all the names right so Patty doesn't slap me. Yep, bamboo. I thought this one looks like... Yeah, who comes first, Simon or YouTube? Um, I thought this looked like a row of TVs. <laughs> you know, years ago in in a the store in a department store window. 
this one's called floating squares and these are all eight by ten but they come in a smaller six by six too this one is called five I believe five sorry I always I already use these of course in a five two point oh and what I really what I really liked about this one I thought it looked like an overhead map but it could be anything you want right this one is called Long Arrows. I see I should have been able to remember that one. You know what? I love me some arrows. Another Chevron print. This one, I love how it just points inwards. This is called Center Stage. So arrows, chevrons, pointing in like a star. I love how that looks. To me, this one should have been called Double Stripes. Just teasing fatty. But it is not called double stripes. It is called behind bars. But I you know sometimes these these ones are just straight, you know, I end up using more often than ones that are uh a funny pattern. This is uh number eight. So it's just called 8-E-I-G-H-T. Let's see if I can flip it. You can see it better. But again, some awesome texture. And this one is called Tribal... Sorry, Stickball. I was calling it Bats and Balls all last all, <laughs> all last weekend. Um, it's called Stickball. I was, I was obviously watching too much baseball. But this one is awesome. I, I mean, I love them all. I, but it, her tribal patterns, you know me, I love the, I love the tribal patterns. And of course, there was the circle stencil, the circle stencil that fits on an eight by eight jelly plate, an eight inch round jelly plate. But I don't have any round jelly plates at all, so I'm not sure what a circle. I apologize, the circle one I think is. I'm not sure. All right. Love me some patty stencils. So I gotta make sure this is dry. It doesn't feel so, so. Heat gun. Joyce, Joyce, did you get some uh, pictographs? For those of you that aren't in chat, Pictographs is one of Patty Tully Parrish's uh, awesome stencils. I mean, I might go and color these again, but you know, there's a time, I always say there's a time my page gets it to a certain stage where I need, it's just called round, yeah. that The round 8 inch one's just called round for now because it was just a like a trial I suppose or a, a new release like not a new release but a sneaky peek preview I'm gonna ink the edges a little bit you know because again this is a coloring book but it's it's an art journal to me now as well as a coloring book which means yes I still you know I still like to ink the edges and I'll even ink the edges of the pages that I'm gonna color right I want these pages to kind of, you know what? I probably have some stamps of these dolls. Oh, oh, I for sure do from Stampin' Up. Oh, wait, did I sell those ones? It's a promo. Oh, I know I had some Stampin' Up ones like that. I wonder if I got rid of them. Anyways, maybe I'll draw some of those. But I was wondering if if I would color. Well, that's pink. I don't want to use that. All my other coloring stuff's out on the couch. But maybe I will color 
these poppies now in, in a red to match this. You can't even see that. I think I would have to do some marker first. All I have right here, guys, is a, a cotton candy tub that from uh, AC Moore that I got in the U.S. And it has the colors that, you know, I'm working on multiple pages at the same time, right? So if I'm coloring, I'm coloring that lion, and I'm coloring some... So I'm coloring this line, which which has these blues and oranges, you know, and the other colors are in the bag. So this one is just for the colors that I'm using right now. Maybe, maybe I got them from CTMH, Linda, from you. Try some Prismas on what? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I don't have. This is the red. And the problem is, I need I need to go over with markers or paint first because this is that was some shiny paint. It was shiny paint, so I actually might have to paint them anyways. Might have to paint them later. But I need something coming down off this side, don't you think? Now you got me thinking. Drink some coffee, Paula. What time is it? 11.30 already. Is it a tiger? I thought it was a lion. The lion looks like a deer. Oh, you guys are losing it now. Officially lost it. Oh, look, I could just wipe off those Prismas right off that uh, Liquitex, Liquitex Basics paint. So let's, I'll go up close. It, I think it's a lion. Not what I'm looking at right now. People in the chat are saying, I thought it was a tiger. No, I thought it was a lion. No, I thought it was a tiger. Or it needs some washy. What type of washing? No, I don't have the right colors right in front of me. Of course, when do you ever have the colors right in front of you? But where I need to put in a title too. Maybe we just go to Sticker Nation for now. Um, sometimes you can find this book, you know, on Amazon or at a used bookstore. But you guys know I've I've had this book for many years now i love it it's just it's stickers there's a sticker nation one i don't have it um but i like to use these words in, in my art journal here so so i just like you know sometimes you can cut them up the vote well we can talk about the vote in canada I wonder if there's something to do with coloring, you think? Chalk the sidewalks. Collect creativity. Ooh, I like that. As Joyce would say, ooh. I'm going to collect creativity. And I'm going to collect creativity. So lots of times I cut this. Sometimes I leave the copyright 2008 sticker nation. I'm not doing anything with these. Art. These are just my personal art journals. You know. I'm not selling prints. Relax. To me it's just an easy way to get a title. You know. I still own. I still have lots of. You know, scrapbook type alphabet stickers that I like to use, or um, sorry, I'm just looking for a red here that I like to use for titles, or and I can take this out now, or I would I can do uh, you know, I'll write it in my own handwriting. Lots of different ways. You can use some foam stamps. Yeah. Now maybe it's just the way I got him colored. He looks like a tiger. He's a lion. See his mane? Maybe because I colored him wrong, he looks like a tiger. Yeah, and it cracks exactly. Coloring books are on Kindle, on ebooks. I don't know if you can print them or what, but 
Do you think that looks like a tiger? Maybe it's just the way I colored him. I think he's a lion. <laughs> Either way, they both roar, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Alright, so I need something. I think I still need something light coming from here. What do you guys think? So this is probably where... Okay, yeah, for example, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn this upside down. I apologize. So like I said, I want to incorporate one page into the other. And I'm going to do some splots. I realize it needs some light type splots everywhere. Um, yeah, there's nothing wrong in coloring. A lion doesn't have stripes. He doesn't have any stripes. That's just the way I'm coloring him that makes him look like he has stripes. If I just did all this, you know, it's the doodling. Oh, my goodness. Eileen's trying to get at me. All right, let's get a pencil. Let us get a pencil. I'm going to use this one. Got a thicker lead. Okay, so I'm looking at these flowers, right? So just like, uh, that's right, Veronica, we're Leo. So if I say it's a lion, it's a lion. <laughs> On his face. Oh, man. I'm going back. Oh, yeah. So we have to go back to the lion, even though Eileen's being a... So you're talking about here? Anyways. So the doodling that's within these feathers, because they look like feathers. Are you going to say it's a bird then? <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. It still roars. It could be a, the tiger goes better with the song lyrics, <laughs> right? <laughs> okay. So, so see, I did the little tangling, doodling stuff, whichever one it is, that I mimicked what the pattern from the you know the tiny um, doodles over here made it bigger over here to tie the two pages in more. Um, that's not showing the stripes. That's just showing the uh, the shading in my home. Anyway, <laughs> I could argue that all day. So I think that Eileen's right. It's a tiger. Um, okay, so we got these little. I'm just gonna draw some. Uh, matching flowers I don't know if you'll be able to see it but I'll paint them in here shortly in a minute so if you're new in chat they're just razzing me we're just having a good laugh we like to especially Eileen we razz each other we all razz each other all the time so it's just all in good fun All right, so I don't know if you see that at all. It's a liger. <laughs> I love Napoleon Dynamite. <laughs> Drink some coffee, Paula. It's a liger. <laughs> I love Napoleon Dynamite. It's an elephant. <laughs> it's a bird. It's a plane. I don't, anyways, I, I, I raised this up, but then I started laughing at the Napoleon Dynamite. Okay, you can see that in the glare there, there's a little flower. And I'll do another one here in this corner. I don't know how well they go with the poppies, but, you know, sometimes. It just goes that way. I mean, of course, it doesn't, you know, this is your journal or coloring book or whatever. You don't have to do any of this stuff to make it. You can just do this separate and this separate and not have them, uh, not worry about having them coordinate. One more little guy here. Oh, it's raining. I was just going to say it's raining up a storm. Well, that's what usually what happens when it rains. It's a storm. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I need to drink more coffee. Uh, 
All right. Now I can really hear it coming down out there. I was going to say, didn't you just go, Patty? How do you like my puppy pods? Hey, Patty. I think Napoleon Dynamite is hilarious. You know what? I want Napoleon Dynamite on Dancing with the Stars. Okay, so I'm just going to paint this in. These guys got me all giggling now. I'm going to paint it. I'll find my round brush over here. I'm going to paint it with white first and then maybe, you know, might think of another color afterwards. Let's start with white for sure. Because they were doing the hustle on, uh, I think that's what you call it, right? Um, on Dancing with the Stars the other day, last weekend. And I'm like, Napo oh, Napoleon Dynamite so did it better than whoever was doing it on Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Now this is probably the too big of a brush. All I hear is like rain. It's making me nervous. Or water running, I should say. It just makes me nervous. I'm just putting the white down first. If you do a black marker, I find if I do a black marker and then, you know, try to paint the back, paint it out with white, then the white always picks up the black marker. You know what I mean, Vern? I'm definitely using too big of a brush for this job, but like I say, I always believe in using what's around me, so... And I apologize, I don't know who Napoleon, the actor who played Napoleon Dynamite, what his name really is. Not that I want, well, I mean, Napoleon Dynamite on Dancing with the Stars would be hilarious, but the actor that did Napoleon Dynamite would be pretty funny on Dancing with the Stars. All right. So I'm just trying to put, you know, I probably should have used gesso because Liquitex Basics paint or using, you know, white craft paint. Liquitex Basics paint does have a sheen to it. So I'm going to have to um, go over it with marker, I think, here in a minute. <clears throat> Mike Myers was, is Canadian, yeah. I'm not sure, Gene, if Napoleon Dynamite is your kind of comedy, to be honest. It's funny. I think it's funny, but you may not like the, the that um, dry humor like that. He come. Oh, that's hot. Hot, my friends. That is super hot. Excuse me while I reach and get my markers. Well, this is an old cropper hopper thing, so if you uh, <laughs> been a scrapbook for, for a while, um, a scrapbooker for a while, you would recognize some of this. So I have some Sharpies. Oh, see, though, know, these pens, these paper mate flares, they're just little, I should have those out, out in my coloring bag. I probably would use them more, more likely in coloring than in, um, in my art room. All right, so we got some. I'm going to use some, uh, speaking of, well, we didn't talk about Brad Pitt. We use some big brush pit pens. Or Brad Pitt pens, as some of my friends like to call them. Call them. I'm going to start with orange, maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm using my finger to kind of blend them out because they are uh, a lot of <clears throat> pigment, especially when you're working on acrylic paint, right? So student grade paint here is a little, not a little, it's very shiny. So I'm just going to do multiple layers of markers, I think. I don't know if you can see that quite yet. I'm just going to... And I'll probably go in with black and tangle around... Um, oh, doodle. Whatever you say. I don't want to break any copyright stuff but of course you know I could have colored this whole thing with paint which I could have painted it instead of instead of just the white probably could still do that now I'm not sure if you're really seeing this <clears throat> But I'm definitely going to have to go over in black in the end, right? Because this has got some doodling in it. All right, let's see. I do have the Faber-Castell. So if anybody wanted to know, the one I was just using, I know, but I don't know what, what uh, you know, some there's copyrights on some of those things, I think. This one was uh, Sacred Red, Scarlet. Ah, Scarlet Red. And this one is a Magenta. Because again, I am trying to, you know, kind of blend it into that. Blend isn't the right word. I'm trying to coordinate it with that one. I'm thinking now that I'm doing this, looking at it compared to the rest of the page, it almost, I, it almost should be uh paint and not marker what do you guys think or maybe you can't think yet because i haven't really showed you can't talk coloring Oh my gosh, did you just hear that? I really hope not. That was whole unprofessional. And it wasn't me, just saying. I look at... Uh... Oh no! That's bad news. White paint everywhere. Well, I'm going to color it, cover it eventually, but you know, I don't, as I continue to work on it, especially if I'm doing it live like this, people are going to ask what book it is. So I, I want to make sure that I'm, you know, keep that so people can still see what book I'm working in. See what I mean, Vern? It should be more, I don't know, if, I don't know if you could, you could hear him burp. Everybody can hear you burp in here. <laughs> he says I know he says he knew that and started laughing. What a guy. What a guy. The one thing I find is is these pit pens on top of this type of uh you know with this application, does anyone else find they're kind of sticky? And so, of course, you know, these are big brush, so. <laughs> nice, eh? Oh, my goodness. Talk about unprofessional. I'm going to get hate mail on YouTube about that now. What's wrong with you? 
you let your man sit out there and burp, and I've got to hear your man burp while I'm trying to watch art. I can hear it now. Let me see if I can try to dry this real quick. He done. <laughs> It could have been worse. Oh, my. Poor Simon. Oh, this is super sticky. Look. So I'm not... I'm not sure if it's necessarily... Like, if, you know, the same white paint was used over here. But for some reason, these pit pens... And maybe that's, that's why I don't use them as often. When I'm using them on this type of... Um, acrylic paint i don't think they do the same thing obviously maybe as um uh on craft paint so i'm using the feud ball i know food a whatever it's spelled f-u-d-e so i uh you know sound looks like rude so i'm gonna say it sounds like rude but i think it's food a but i call it feud um it's a 1.5 they're distributed by ranger now it's originally made by auto o h t o thank you dina wakely for bringing these into our life i think that they're gonna run out pretty fast but boy it's worth it i'm just saying So I'm just going to, um, I don't think I can tangle. So when they say it's a good paint, it's a 1.5 nib, right? Which is not very, it's very hard to find a pen that has a 1.5 nib that's in this type of ink. Of course, I've been, you know, so of you guys have been using the Bic pen, Bic bolds, right? A Bic, this is a bold pen, and you can tell that they're bold because they have a white, a regular Bic pen does ha has, um, a clear barrel I guess that's the right word the ink inside but see how this ink barrel is white that's how you know it's a 1.6 um, so it's got the same size nib but obviously this is like um, you know it's a different ink it's a blacker ink than say the black um, <clears throat> black big pen but let's see I can also use you know, I can use the ballpoint pen to go in here. So let's see what tangles. I'm going to mimic, mimic the, well, that's not going to show too much, but. And, you know, I'm not a Zen doodle or tangler, um, you know, I'm just not. I don't have a steady hand. Like, it's just something that I don't enjoy. I'm enjoying coloring them, but, you know, to each your own, right? So I'll go ahead and finish all of that. I won't do that on camera. Oh. Oh. I don't know how clear that is. So I went around. I'll go around it, and I like it messy looking like that, right, with the, with the pen. But I'll go around it. I'm not sure if I'll doodle inside or not or just leave these type of flowers. I'll go in and add some green stuffage over there. I'll tweet a, a pic, put it on Instagram when I'm done. And so when I color this girl, I'm going to use this, these same blues and greens and oranges when I color in over here. So... um. I do need to, when I put down these words, whether it's words you cut out, I do like to edge it. And again, I use a lot of ballpoint pen on my pages. But I just, I just like it, especially the Bic Bold pens. Uh, they're Bic Crystals, but they're called Bold. I just think when you outline some of these titles, in my opinion, they just pop more. But it's all about what you like the look of. Put the put the title how you normally title your pages, right? This is kind of my style, if you will, of art journaling. So that's what I'm going to do in my art journal, uh, my coloring book art journal. So I'm going to finish that up. But I really like how how the clear gesso 
and you got all this nice um oh i gotta do a giveaway so we're gonna give away a coloring book so i'll wait a, a minute or two for people to sign in because i i you know I, I think we have some guests oh i'll definitely um we got a bunch of anonymous people so i'll wait a minute or two if somebody wants to sign in i'm giving away a copy of uh the bird book I'm definitely I, I don't know if I like those pens on top of that I might have to just paint it with craft paint I might that's okay yeah I'm giving away this coloring birds that I showed at the beginning of the show hi Joyce's hubs happy Saturday so what I'm going to do, we got 80 something people here. I'm going to, um, between one and a hundred, we're going to, when I'm ready, when I type go into the chat, when I type go, when you see journal artista type go into the chat, we're going to put in one number from one to a hundred. Um, and once I type go, you're going to put in a number between one and a hundred and, uh, the, the person closest to it without going over is going to I'll, I'll, uh, get the book. But again, you know, whichever way you want to art journal, whichever way you normally art journal, just think about it. I, I'm really enjoying, um, as you can see, I've got, again, deli paper that I did, and I'm coloring some stuff. Um, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you check out this book and see your your coloring books in a different in a different light. And, um, hi, Sage. And, uh, get some more use out of them. Oh, I can't wait. I love this. Just saying. <laughs> I know. I know it's my own ding. All right. I know. Carol, Whipsmart Carol is doing some amazing bird drawings over on, I see them on Instagram anyway. Um, so again, these books are super hard. I have another one on order. Should be coming tomorrow. I've got to do an impromptu stream during the day this week. I keep saying I'm going to do it. And then uh, I've been spending lots of time with my grandmother. Um, anyway, everybody ready? One in a hundred. And if you don't like the book, then you don't have to. You don't have to do it. All right. Everybody is waiting. But I... Uh, I'm really enjoying this, that's for sure. To be able to, to find a book that you can mix, that I'm able to mix my love of art journaling. Of course, I haven't done anything on this page. That's just the background. And, you know, my obsession with coloring, then uh, I'm all about it. can't believe you guys are telling me it's a tiger. <laughs> all right, I'm going to... Um, random.org oh man Vicky she so her I don't even know what it means her blood count was uh, see look see see this lion he's got those stripes there can you see that maybe it's flashed out yeah maybe it's a tiger doesn't it look like a lion do you see a lion I see a lion <laughs> a liger anyway random.org so my grandmother, her blood count, whatever this means, I don't think it's oxygen. I think it's the actual amount of blood in her body um, was like in the 40s when we when they brought her into the hospital. And now she went to the doctor, got blood work done on whenever we went out Tuesday, went on Thursday, and her blood's over 91. So she got three pints, I think, in the hospital. And, but now she left the hospital with 80 something and now she's 91. So that means her body's producing blood. Um, so that's all. I, I, it just blows my mind. It, it really does how somebody can do a 180, a 180 in, in a week. I mean, it's just, uh, we are so blessed. The coloring book has no mane. Maybe it's just the way I, I colored it. Rats! <laughs> A liger <laughs> okay everybody ready sandy said one all right between one and a hundred everybody done 
Everybody's done. I don't see anybody say anything in a while. We're talking about ligers. So, it's 59. Oh, I, I shouldn't say I went. She was doing so poorly. The doctor said she, you know, when, when we had her out for Thanksgiving, the doctor said she was days away from passing. And now it's like she's, you know, it's amazing. It just blows me away. Um, It is. It's anything I want it to be. That's right, Rain. <laughs> now I forgot. Was it 59? You guys got me all worked up over my liger over here. <laughs> liger. I gotta go watch Napoleon Dynamite now. All right, who's gonna help me? Seventies, couple forty fives. Oh, Valerie, PH has fifty. Ange has fifty three. Cynthia has fifty eight. Okay, I saw Cynthia with fifty eight. Did anyone have fifty nine on the dot? So I got some stuff going out this week. Some happy mail. Look at my hands tonight, my friends. Cynthia. Cynthia has. Woo! Awesome, Cynthia. I'm not sure if I've sent you anything before. If not, send me an email to journalartista <clears throat> at gmail.com. Um, yeah, I got a few things going out this week. Cam, yeah, no 59 is 58. So, this is bothering me. I shouldn't have done that, but I don't like the way that these pit pens look, they look streaky or something. I'm definitely gonna have to go over them with some crafty paint. Some crafty paint, thanks, Sandy. Like I said, I hope you guys got a little, some little information. Maybe look at your coloring books a little bit differently. Like I said, there's fat chance I'm going to color every single image um, in some of these books. So why not use the pages that you don't like or um, may not have the patience to color into art journal pages. I thought I had the... I'm looking for my mandala. There. So this is the next one I'll work on. It needs some red paint, like for example... So my goal is to have, you know, <clears throat> some coloring, some art journaling. Thanks, Janet. Thank you for being here and your help. Um, I'll definitely see you guys again on Wednesday. Same channel, same time. Now you got me wanting to do more art. See, I'm expired. Anyways. My Sharpie brush pens, yeah, I could do some Sharpie brush or, it's just, it, it's too transparent. It needs, I want to, I think I want it to be more um, opaque is what I'm thinking. I got to be careful because look, I was bad and used some of these things as, I glued this down with uh, carpet tape. Anyways, I'll work on that. All right. See you guys Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I'm looking forward to Jean's Hall on Monday. Some goodies. All right. Good night, my friends.